to call to order the Public Safety and Human Services meeting on March 10th. Um, looking for public appearances for non-agenda item, and we don't have any, so I'm going to move on to the consent agenda. And do I have a motion to approve the consent agenda? I make a motion to approve the consent agenda. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Consent agenda approved. Um, then moving into the following license applications, we have uh, books and brews, and we have both Steve and Nancy Arnold to talk about this license. Um, could I have a motion to approve the uh, temporary class B picnic license for beer and wine? I'll make a motion to approve for the temporary operating license of what with the picnic license beer and wine. Thank you. Um, could you tell us about your event? Yes, the event is April 18th. Um, we got many requests to have this event again. It was very popular. We are at this point in time, we have four breweries that will be doing tastings of their beer. We are currently selling tickets. They're available online and they're also available by paper okay. ticket. Um, we filled out our map of the library with potentially five brewers because there's one brewer that couldn't tell us until March, but we, we have designated where all those people would be. We're also planning on having wine available and non-alcoholic drinks. Um, there will be no money um, spent at the event. Your $25 ticket will allow you to have the beer for, tasting. For beer. For beer food. or wine nice. right, or food. There, there will be also a silent auction, right. but that's a separate item. So we're excited to bring it back. We're hoping for you know 200 to 250 people, and um, we just actually started talking about what would happen if our community is so unfortunate as to have community spread of coronavirus, and um, you know obviously we're going to have to deal with that if that comes up, and we're trying to be forward thinking about that. That seems very proactive. Yeah. Uh, I went to your event before, and I had a great time. That I remember <laughs> there was a band, and it was. It was fantastic. <laughs> we are having music. We have a musician, Ken Wheaton, who plays it, used to play at uh, Liliana's acoustic guitar, mm -hmm. sort of background music. Um, what else do we need to say? The tickets are $25. They're available online mm -hmm. and from me right now, <laughs> or from any member of the library board and also the uh, library board, uh, the friends board and the library board of trustees, right? right. And um, all alders should buy one or two tickets. And the other thing that I think mm. is important, sorry to interrupt you, but is what we are fundraising for. Mm. Oh, are, yes, that is very important. Because it's cool. We're fundraising for a storybook walk and the Keep Arms Park, so we'll have rotating children's books that will be pages of it will be dispersed around the park. So families can go around the park and read a story with their kids while they're outside getting fresh air. And Away the from the screens mm -hmm. and healthy activity. Right. And the other thing is for um, their Google Ex Expedition virtual reality kits, they won't just be like out in the library for people to take, there'll be programming that will be done around mm -hmm. them so that adults and children can, you know, like visit Australia or whatever Google Expedition they want to take part in. And cool. So it'll be a learning yeah. experience as well. So we're so excited about that. So that'll be back indoors that. with yep. the screens. Right. <laughs> <laughs> We don't have great buy, weather all the time, so your, indoor buy, activities buy are tickets. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. Any questions at all? Nope. All right. All those uh, for uh, would like to vote to approve, say aye. 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 Motion carries. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Heart in <laughs> <my> <laughs> <hot seat. laughs> Thank you very much for coming in. We're a tough crowd. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Public safety, you know, they never know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good night, you too. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. All oh, right. I guess I'm not called yet. No, you're yeah, up. You then come up. The it's next. Me. Yes. <laughs> the next item is review of the um, application for special event street use with sound permit. Um, can I have a motion to approve? A motion to approve um, the sound permit. And the street use, I'm assuming? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah street use with sound permit. Wonderful. All right, we have Jackie here. If you'd like to give us some uh, information about this event. Sure. I'm here for the Cottontail Classic, and it's our sixth year of this event, and um, we're trying to grow it from 
um, just a 5K, 10K to more of a family fun expo type feel. Um, so that's kind of our deal. We partnered with Try for Schools, so it's a um, mainly a fundraiser for them. And with them, we're really focusing on family aspects. We have a free kids race, um, fun like family type stuff in a family expo, a bounce house. Um, we've got the Lions Club doing an Easter egg hunt for us um, after the running races and. So yeah, it's pretty much come hang out, get your family active. We have a ton of, we have separate stroller categories, so it's a super stroller friendly, we're not gonna like, the stroller runners can start in front if they want, if they're fast or in the back. Uh, as a stroller running mom, I hate being pushed <laughs> behind all the walkers, so come any speed, <laughs> slower, nice. fast, tons of walkers, tons of runners, we got everything. I'm not familiar with Try for School. What's Try for School? So Try for Schools is a great local nonprofit. They give um, pretty much money back. They do grant programs for all the elementary schools in the area just to increase like outdoor activity. So oh, they give nice. them grants to buy equipment. You know, I know a lot of times they'll buy whatever sports equipment the school doesn't have to just work on, you know, getting kids excited about sports and activity. Oh, that's great. I, was, I have a friend who does this, and she raves about your candy stops. So that oh, I, yeah, I do know. Yeah, that's super fun. We have jelly beans, chocolates. Man. Nobody eats the peeps, though. I have a ton of peeps left in my basement, and I swear I'm just going to switch to, like, jelly bean chocolate jelly bean. So. You know, they're supposed to be, like, one of the most favorite things. Yeah. But Apparently not when you're running. <laughs> you could kind of choke on the marshmallow, I think. I don't know if I'd want to <laughs> like they really sat in my basement. I might as well throw them. <laughs> no one you wants them. Use them as de decoration. <laughs> yeah, I could. Make sure, yeah. In my barn. <laughs> True. <laughs> all right. Any questions? No. All right. All those uh, in favor? Aye. Uh, motion passes. And I think right, Tracy said. Yep. Okay. Check. We'll get that. All right. Thank stuff. you. I hope you guys will come check yeah. it out. Thank, thank you. you very much. Have a good night. Thanks. All right, so our next meeting is March 24th, um, time pending, and I'll take a motion for adjournment. I'll make a motion to adjourn. All right, we're adjourning then. Thank you.